Hillary Clinton returned to the campaign today after 11 hours of testimony yesterday before the House Benghazi Committee. What did we learn during that marathon grilling? Nancy Cordes put the question to the chairman. As some of you may know, I had a pretty long day yesterday. <laughs> Clinton did not declare victory today. Conservative commentators did it for her, declaring the prolonged hearing a bust and a waste of time, citing no, this line of questioning by Republican Mike Pompeo as a prime example. Things. Ambassador Stevens did not have your personal email address. We've established that. Yes, that's right. Did he have your cell phone number? Nobody had the 24-hour number of the state operations uh, in that, the State Department that can reach me 24-7. Yes, ma'am. Uh, did he have your fax number? He had the fax number of the State Department. Did he have your home address? No, I don't think any ambassador uh, has ever asked me for that. Other exchanges seem designed several, to shed more heat requests. than light. And here's basically what happened to their requests. They were torn up. Well, that's just not true, Congressman. Oh. I Clinton did have some rough patches. She couldn't tell Indiana's Susan Brooks how often she communicated with her ambassador to Libya before he was killed. Did you ever personally speak to him after you swore him in in May? Yes, I believe I did. But and I, when was that? I, I don't recall. But in the end, even committee chair Trey Gowdy struggled to explain what had been gained. Mr. Chair, and, 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 most important new things you learned today? Uh, I, I think some of Jimmy Jordan's questioning, uh, well, when you say new today, I mean, we knew some of that already. We knew about the emails. In terms of her testimony, mm -hmm. I don't know that she testified that much differently today than she has the previous time she's testified. So I'd have to go back and look at the transcript. The Benghazi committee's five Democrats called on the House Speaker today to shut the committee down, calling it abusive and noting that it had spent more than $4.8 million so far, Scott, to examine an attack that has already been investigated by seven other committees. And this hearing has lasted longer than the Watergate investigation. Nancy Cordes reporting from Capitol Hill. Thank you, Nancy. This program note, Nora O'Donnell will have the first interview with Vice President Biden since he announced he's not running for president. That'll be this Sunday on 60 Minutes.